What the Night Sings is a 2018 graphic novel penned by German-American author Vesper Stamper. Set in the immediate aftermath of World War II, the story revolves around Gerda Roche, a young Jewish Holocaust survivor. Orphaned after the war, she meets Lev, another survivor, as she endeavors to rebuild her life while grappling with the haunting memories of Auschwitz, Bonhoeff their science dad, and Bergen-Belsen concentration camps. The novel skillfully weaves elements of a Bildungsroman, a coming-of-age narrative, with flashbacks to Goethe's harrowing experiences during the Holocaust, offering a compassionate portrayal of the unfathomable suffering endured by Jewish children long after the war's end. The tale begins during the liberation of Bergen-Belsen concentration camp by the British in early 1945. The surviving prisoners bear witness to the unimaginable atrocities committed by the Nazi regime, leaving them in disbelief as they are finally released. Amidst this backdrop, Goethe befriends Lev, another survivor. The narrative then takes a leap back in time to 1935, tracing some of Goethe's earlier years. She grew up unaware of her Jewish heritage, raised by her Gentile stepmother, who taught her the art of opera singing. Goethe's father, a secular Jew and a musician, filled their lives with the joy of music. However, their lives took a tragic turn with Hitler's rise to power, leading to Goethe and her father's internment in Bonhoeff their science dad concentration camp. Struggling to comprehend the hatred towards Jews, Goethe's father attempts to help her understand the long history of Jewish persecution. He reveals the heart-wrenching truth about her mother's death during a raid intended to harm the Jewish population in Cone. The novel masterfully captures the poignant journey of Goethe Roche, painting a vivid portrait of resilience, survival, and the enduring human spirit in the face of unimaginable darkness. After their time in Bonhoeff their science dad, Roche and her father relocate to Würzburg, adopting the pseudonym Richter to conceal their identity. While at the clothing production facility, Roche befriends Rosa, and later, they, along with her father and Lev, are transferred to Auschwitz concentration camp near Krakow. In Auschwitz, Roche becomes a violist in the camp orchestra, while her father tragically falls victim to the gas chambers. The story then returns to the post-war era after the liberation of Bergen-Belsen. Roche and Lev maintain communication through letters, while Roche finds love with Micah, an advocate for Israel's emerging Zionist movement. Micah is determined to help the refugees reach Israel. As they recover at a displaced survivor's camp, Lev proposes to Roche, but she declines, expressing her desire not to be tied to a monogamous life. This decision leads to an internal struggle as she tries to find her own identity and place in the world. Dealing with the aftermath of her time in the concentration camps, Roche faces challenges in resuming her passion for opera, as her vocal cords were damaged during her captivity. Gradually, she embraces her femininity, working to overcome the gender dysphoria caused by the cruelty she endured. As the novel progresses, Roche begins to reclaim her Jewish identity and reconnect with her religious faith, which she feels had been taken from her for so long. Lev becomes her guide in learning about Judaism and participating in religious rituals. Love blossoms between them, and they eventually marry at the displaced person's camp before journeying to Israel with Micah. In Israel, they settle in a kibbutz, where they reunite with Roche's aunt, Ruth. Roche enrolls at the Tel Aviv Conservatory to pursue her dream of training in opera, while Lev starts a newspaper. What the Night Sings poignantly depicts Gerda Roche's transformative journey from the depths of suffering and loss to rediscovering her cultural heritage, embracing love, and finding hope and purpose in the aftermath of the Holocaust. In What the Night Sings the story of Roche and her friends exemplifies the incredible resilience of the Jewish people and their capacity to find happiness even after enduring unimaginable trauma during the Holocaust. Through their experiences and relationships, the novel beautifully portrays the strength and courage of those who survived, finding solace and hope amidst the darkest of times. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did and be sure to subscribe thank you.